This is Mauna Loa erupting in 2022. Mauna Loa is the largest volcano on Earth, located on Big Island in Hawaii. It has gentle slopes and is a typical shield volcano. When such a volcano erupts, it usually emits a lot of fluid lava in a calm manner. Explosions happen very rarely and are of minor intensity. Eruptions typically start along a fissure that can be up to a few kilometers long. Along the fissure, large curtains of fountaining lava can form. This strong activity typically lasts only for a few hours. After that, the eruptive activity starts to concentrate along a single point where a volcanic cone starts to build from which lava flows spread across the surrounding area. Lava flows occurring at shield volcanoes are typically of two types, pahoehoe and aa. Pahoehoe lava is very fluid, meaning it has a low viscosity. When it solidifies, it forms smooth surface rocks. Active pahoehoe lava produces lobes or toes that slowly inflate. After some time, a cool skin forms on the surface of the lava that becomes a solid crust after more cooling. Sometimes, the cooled skin is deformed by the flowing lava underneath and gets wrinkled. This is how ropey pahoehoe forms. The other type of lava flow at shield volcanoes is aa lava. Aa lava is more viscous than pahoehoe lava and is characterized by a rough surface consisting of individual lava chunks called clinker. The clinker forms when the surface of the flow starts to cool and solidify. In contrast to pahoehoe lava, where a smooth crust forms with time, the crust of aa lava gets torn apart by the flowing lava underneath. As this tearing happens continuously, chunks of solidified lava form on the flow surface. When you're in front of an advancing aa lava flow, you can see the solidified lava chunks falling down making a characteristic sound, a bit like glass shards moving against each other. Thanks to their effusive nature, shield volcanoes are not very dangerous. Of course, lava flows can destroy a lot of property, but usually lava flows are slow and there is enough time to evacuate people. Therefore, shield volcanoes usually do not claim many human lives if they do at all. As a shield volcano erupts over and over again, hundreds or even thousands of pahoehoe and aa lava flows are stacked on top of each other. Since the lava at shield volcanoes is typically very fluid, it forms thin flows that move far away from the volcanic vent. In extreme cases, several tens of kilometers. In this way, a rather flat mountain forms with gentle slopes. The typical lava of a shield volcano is basaltic in composition. When it solidifies, it forms dark grey to black rocks called basalts. A basalt is typically fine-grained, meaning you don't see individual crystals in the rock. Sometimes it contains a few large crystals or for example olivine as we see in this sample. If a shield volcano is active long enough, its magma composition can shift towards more explosive and more viscous compositions. This will then change the volcano's eruptive style and turn it slowly into a stratovolcano. While shield volcanoes are gentle giants, stratovolcanoes can show a quite different behavior. We will look at those volcanoes in the next video. See you there! And if you've ever been on a shield volcano, let me know in the comments on which shield volcano you have been.